Hey guys, how are you going? In this video, I want to talk you through and show you how to use native JavaScript modules. Um, so basically, they allow you to split up your front-end JavaScript code into many separate components or modules, which of course then allows for easier maintenance and better file organization. Um, so we've seen it before in other languages um, or tools, such as Node.js with the require functionality, or even something like Webpack. So now it's available natively on major browsers, excluding Internet Explorer. But aside from that, the browser compatibility is actually quite good. It's supported in Chrome, Firefox, Safari, and Edge. So um, it's quite good, but unfortunately, you won't see many applications or websites actually taking advantage of native JavaScript modules. So in this video, I'm going to show you how they work and of course, how to actually use them in your own applications or projects. So let's go inside the text editor right here. I've got that index HTML file and it's quite, it's quite basic and not much going on so far. So to of course demonstrate JavaScript modules, we're going to need some JavaScript files. So let's make a new directory inside here and call this one JS. Inside here, we can make a file called main.js. This main.js file is going to be essentially um, the main entry point for the application. And this one right here is going to be importing features or functionality from other JavaScript files. So with that being said, inside the index.html file, we need to simply include a single JavaScript file, and that is going to be the main.js file right there. So we can say script source for dot forward slash JS and then main.js. So very importantly, we need to also say type as being module. Without type module, uh, we won't be able to use the import and export statements, which are essential to JavaScript modules. So make sure you have type equals module inside your script tag. Okay, so now let's go inside this main.js file and import some functionality from other JavaScript files. So we're going to need some other files to actually import. So let's make a new file here, call this one utils.js, which is going to contain a few utility functions. Okay, so for example, let's define a function called double. It'll take in um, a number just like this. It's going to simply return the number multiplied by two. So essentially, it's going to be doubling a number. So how do we access this function right here from this main.js file? It's actually quite easy. We simply say export function double. So now with this export keyword, this is basically saying that any JavaScript file which imports the utils.js file is going to be able to um, use the double function. So basically the double function is going to be accessible by any importing file. With that being said, we can go inside this main.js file and of course import that function. So I can say import, then use curly braces, and I can say double, so specifying the function name, double, from dot forward slash utils dot js. So um, a few things to note here, of course the use of uh, braces right here. Also, I'm using the dot forward slash um, for the actual path name and as of 2019 in July, uh, this is uh, essential to uh, native uh, JavaScript modules. Also along with that is the dot JS extension. You might be used to seeing something like utils from uh, Node.js, but unfortunately in the native JavaScript modules, you need to actually specify the .js file extension. So now this right here means that the double function has been successfully imported from the utils.js file. So now I can simply say, for example, uh, console.log, I can call the double function as normal. Then I can say, for example, five. So five times two is 10. So if I save this and refresh, we should see 10 in the console. Refresh this and of course we get 10 right there. So it's working just fine. And that right there is basically how JavaScript modules work. You simply export some features and then you import them in a separate file. Okay, so you can also um, export other things. Like for example, if I was to, um, if I was to say export 
const name equals uh, DOM, it's going to work just fine. So you can export constants, uh, regular variables, functions, uh, classes, objects, uh, basically whatever you want. Okay, so now I can then say here, I can say comma and then specify name. And now, of course, I can then say console.log name and it's going to work just fine. I'm going to save this and refresh and of course we get DOM right there. Okay. Now, a different way to export uh, your features is you can actually get rid of these two exports right here and you can instead say, for example, um, export, then using the curly braces once again, uh, you can say name, comma, double. So now, with the single export statement, you're able to export these two features right here. And this basically does the exact same thing as the previous example. So now this code should work just fine. I'm going to save this and refresh once again, and we get the same result. Alrighty. So back inside here, uh, you can also uh, rename your imports or give them aliases. So for example, if I want to use the double function as something else, I can say as, then I can say utils double. And this helps you, of course, eliminate uh, duplicate function names if you have multiple imports or multiple modules being imported. Okay, and then I can simply change this to be utils double instead of double. I'm going to save this now and refresh one more time and we get here DOM the same result of course and if I was to try and use um, the double function from earlier it's not going to work so I'm going to save this and refresh once again and now we get here double is not defined okay so um, that is how to rename your imports now you're also able to uh, import all of your exports at once without specifying um, obviously the name multiple times. So for example, if your module exports like 50 things, you don't want to have to say comma this, then comma this, comma this. You can simply export everything, or sorry, uh, import everything at once by simply saying import asterisk as utils for example. So now, basically utils is its, sorry, uh, utils is its own sort of like namespace containing all of the exports from this utils uh, module. So now I can simply just say here utils then dot. So we can see here I'll change this back to double. So now we can see it's actually quite clear where this function is coming from. Obviously it's the, um, the utils import up here. So I'm going to save this now and refresh and we get the same result. And personally, I like this style of importing the best because it's actually obviously uh, quite clear where um, the functions or your constants or whatever is actually coming from. Okay, so um, that is that one right there. Um, I now want to talk about what's called default exports. So let's go back inside um, the module and uh, let's get rid of all this stuff and we're going to instead say export default function we can say for example say name this will simply just console.log and I'll say name like that so this export default means that this function is the default export for this module so now to actually use this function oh, also by the way um, you can only have a single default export um, in a single module so only one of these but of course multiple exports okay so so to actually use uh, this function in this file we have two options we can say import default as then for example uh, I don't know say name right well let's just say something like a uh, bottle make it different right so default as bottle from utils .js and now uh, bottle is that function so I can say for example uh, bottle just like this so I'm going to save this and refresh and we get of course in the console DOM okay now uh, more commonly you'll see this instead you will see uh, let's just say for example uh, bottle uh, from utils.js so now we're saying import bottle from utils.js bottle is taking um, uh, 
you know, the place of the default. So now bottle is the same thing. So bottle is the function right there. I'm going to save this and refresh and we get DOM right there. So um, those are your two alternatives for uh, doing your default export. So essentially this import bottle from utils.js is the same thing as uh, saying import default as bottle. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. Um, cool, so that is uh, basically, um, you know, the main uh, features or, uh, you know, how to use uh, modules in JavaScript. Um, I now want to talk about uh, one more thing and that is uh, called aggregate modules or um, how to aggregate your modules. So aggregating basically means uh, you want to sort of uh, have multiple modules available from a single module. So for example, um, I want to make a new module right here. I'm going to call this module helper.js. So now inside helper.js, I want to export a few things just like normal. For example, I'm going to say export function. Let's just call this one uh, water. This will just say console.log water just like this. So we have this, this export in this helper.js. I then I'm going to go into this utils.js file. I'm going to then say here, export, okay, export uh, water from dot forward slash helper dot js. So this is different because of course we're saying export then using like an import uh, style syntax. So essentially we are making this water an export of this utils.js file and the water is coming from the helper.js okay so now inside this main.js it works the same way I can then say import water from utils.js and that right there is aggregate modules or aggregating modules we're essentially making a bridge between um, you know, this main.js and this helper through this utils.js. We're taking the export from this file and making an export of this file. Okay, I hope that makes sense. And now I can then say water and it's going to work just fine. I'm going to save this and refresh for one last time in this video and we get water right there. And that is the basics of how to use JavaScript modules. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you later.